Every year as we approach Christmas, we prepare ourselves by decorating our homes with lights, in fact, lights throughout the city. We decorate our homes with trees and lights and stockings by the fireplace, if you have a fireplace. And all this, I think, is an attempt for us to live out our hope for what Christmas means. That is, we, we try to show the world as recreated. We try to show the world as revealing the presence of God. And for those few days around Christmas, Christmas celebrations, to remind ourselves that our God is with us and, and, and re has come to really renew the world. But then the day after Christmas, it all kind of breaks down. We try to make a few days perfect. We try to make a few days feel like that God had come and we now had peace on earth and goodwill towards all. And we try hard those few days to get that to happen. But then the day after, it all falls apart. The tree goes out the door, the lights come down, and we're back to our normal life. How can we capture a deeper understanding of what we should take with us from this celebration of Christus, Christmas into the rest of the year? Well, here's one good way to look at it. We look around the world today and we know that our God came to save us, but Lord, there's so many things wrong. People are starving and hungry, people without homes, there's violence and discord throughout the world. And we pray to God, God, come and save us, come change us. Well, imagine that God gave you all the power he has. God says, here, here's everything you need. What would you do? Well, many say, well, I would make sure there's food for everybody. I'd make peace on earth. I'd solve all the discords in the world. I'd make everyone feel loved. I'd make sure that no one was left unattended. We have all the power to change all these things. Well, God has always had that power to make those kind of changes in our lives. But how did he choose to come and save us? He was born as a child in Bethlehem. He became a human person like us. He joined himself to our struggles. He became one with us so that he could walk with us understand us, but also be able to communicate to us his love. And he brought to us redemption. He brought to us the hope of eternal life, forgiveness of our sins. And he gave us a model of how we are called to change the world. Because his coming reminded us that any change in the world must be rooted in love. And to love, you must come to see someone, look them in the face, you must be willing to sacrifice some of your life to help give life to another. That's the spirit we take with us after the lights come down. Our willingness to continue to reach out to our brothers and sisters in love. Be willing to make sacrifices to make sure that those who are hungry have food. We are called to walk in their shoes with them to understand them. We are called to be that God Emmanuel. We know that God is with us we are to make that presence of God within ourselves present to others in the way we treat them. We become the body of Christ, walking the earth, bringing hope and peace to the world. I pray that as we enter the season of Christmas, we carry that meaning within our hearts, that we have, like God, all the power God had to save the world, and he saved it as a child. He calls us to come into the world, walk with our brothers and sisters, and build that world where there's peace for all and goodwill to everyone we meet. Merry Christmas.